karibu kwenye channel ya Dr. Mero Lectures tunafundisha masomo ya sayansi, physics, chemistry, mathematics pamoja na biology kwa silabasi ya Tanzania na kwa olevo pamoja na advanced level. Dr. Mero Lectures for your better next exams performance. Subscribe, share and like this video. Oh, welcome back friends. This is Dr. Mero Lectures and today we are going to, to start a new topic which is coordination uh, which is a long time and I was just preparing some of the things so as to make my content competent so don't worry now we have already started coordination and I hope in in a few weeks it will be completed uh, don't forget to subscribe the channel and to share the link to your fellow students. The facilitator in this period is Dr. Mlela and if there is anybody who is in need of these notes you can find me in my uh, in my in my contacts which I put them in the in the description below. Now let's go let's go these are just introduction information. Now let's go coordination coordination as we know kwamba coordination ni kitendo ambacho tunakuwa tunaunganisha kazi mbalimbali mbali za mwili kazi mbalimbali za mwili zinazofanyika maeneo mbalimbali ya mwili kwa hiyo coordination tunakuwa tunaunganisha kwa pamoja uh, kwenye introduction nasema kwamba ability ya organism to respond kwa stimuli the ability of the organism to respond to the stimuli is the fundamental characteristic of all living organisms all living organisms so all living organisms they have ability to respond to the external stimuli now all animals except sponges use a network of nerve cells to gather information about the body's condition and the external environment to process and integrate and integrate that information and to issue commands to the body muscles and the glands kwa hiyo unaona hapo kinachoanza kinaanza nini hapo anakuelezea kwamba they use a network of nerve cell kwanza moja anasema tumai to gather information to gather information about the body condition Ko, to gather information maana kuchukua maelekezo au kuchukua maelezo haya maelezo yanatoka wapi yanaweza katoka either kwenye internal au external environment kwenye internal au external environment internal environment maana ni surrounding of the cell yani mazingira ambayo ni ndani ya mwili wakati external environment ni surrounding of an organism so first they gather information uh, about the body's condition and the external environment then they process and integrate gathering of information is done by sensory neurons sensory neurons zinachukua information zinaingiza wapi mwilini baada hapo nini kinatokea uh, processing na integration ambayo processing na integration inafanyika wapi kwenye central nerve system brain and spinal cord baada hapo to issue command to the body muscle and the glands kwa hiyo ni response ambao response inapita kwenye nini kwenye kwenye motor neuron kama ambavyo tutaenda kuona kwa mbele lakini unaweza kuona ni taarifa inachukuliwa nje inaingizwa ndani ya mwili inakuwa processed ikishako processed response inatoka tena so the nervous system composed of neurons and it is a fast communicating system and play a key part in many feedback system that maintain the constant of the body internal environment kwa hiyo hii nervous system ni very fast very fast fast communication system ambayo imetengenezwa na neurons neurons ni kama nyaya za umeme ambazo zinachukua hapa nervous impulse kwa sababu nerve impulse a uh, nerve impulse tunataka kusoma kwa mbele ni kama electrical signal kwa nerve impulse is actually an electrical signal but rather than having an electrical signal nerve impulse pia huwa kuna wakati kifika kwenye synapse inabadilika kwa chemical alafu kipita tena synapse inakuwa tena electrical hatari sana hiyo 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 utaenda kuiona tu kwa mbele sasa anachosema ni kwamba anachosema ni kwamba all inputs from sensors sensory neurons to the central nervous system are transmitted as electrical signal from sensory neurons to the central nervous system they are transmitted as electrical signal Sensory neurons receive input 
from many different kinds of receptor cells. In the retinal visoma, kinds of receptor such as rod and cone cell found in the vertebrates eye and kwenjicho. Kwa hiyo kuna different types of receptor cell kulingana na categorization kama tutakavyo na kusoma kwa mbele hizi ambazo tuna categorize receptor. So different sensory neurons send information to different brain regions. Kwa hiyo unakuta kwamba kuna kipande cha ubongo kinachohusika na kuona, kinachohusika na kusikia, kinachohusika na interpretation of language. So different brain regions hiyo tuna kuiona tu kwenye anatomy ikifika chuoni kwa hivyo tunaviita blockus area blockus area uh, yani blockus area ni ni ni, ni, ni area moja wapo zote zinaitwa brodiman area kwa brodiman area ziko kama 40 kwa katika brodiman area kuna moja inaitwa blockus blockus hiyo inahusikana kuongea kwa blockus area mtu kimkuta anaongea sentence hawezi kuzipanga vizuri that is because of the disorder in the blockus area kwa unagundua hii language unayosikia hivi unavyosikia vinavyoenda kwenye brain kuna different parts ambazo interpret unavyoona kwa kuna kwa kuna linking flani unaona kwa mfano hivi hivi ninavyofundisha tu hivi wewe kusikia maneno yangu na hivi unavyoviona kwenye video kuna kwa kuna linking kati ya listen pamoja na kuangalia kuna kwa kuna linking hapo 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 kuna linking kati ya ya listening kuangalia yani viewing pamoja na sehemu ya memory kwa hiyo kwamba vitu ni very complex lakini Tutaenda tu pole pole send information to different parts of the brain and so are associated, associated with different senses. Kwa kwenye brain same inayo sense kuona na inayo sense kusikia ni same bit of it. The brain distinguishes among a sunset a siphon a searing pain only in terms of identify of the sensory neuron carrying the action potential and the frequency of these impulses. Kwa brain na uwezo e, kutofautisha kati ya sauti ya mtu, sauti ya mziki, kuona, kupigwa, kufinywa, kuungua na moto, ina uwezo kudifenshiate at the same time na ndio maana ukiwa unatembea hata ukichomo na mwiba at the same time. At the same time ukaanguka. Yaani yani hizo accidents zote zikatokea at the same time. Bado brain inakuwa na uwezo kufanyaje wa kukoordinate kuzifanya hizo pamoja. Lakini pia coordination so by definition now hiyo ilikuwa tu ni introduction. By definition Connection in the process of linking together various physiological activities of an organism. Various physiological activities. Physiological activities in different activities ambazo na take place kwenye body. Kwenye body yani kwenye cell pamoja na kwenye extracellular environment. Mazingira ambayo ni nje ya cell. So that is what is called connection linking together of various physiological activities. Uh, irritability or sensitivity refer to the ability to respond to the stimuli or in the ability of an organism to detect changes and be able to make appropriate response. Kwa hiyo tunaosema to respond to stimuli manake nini? Stimuli yenyewe tutaenda kuidefine hapo mbele kidogo lakini stimulus tuna define kama is the change in the internal or external environment which is detected by the nerve cell. Kwa stimulus ni badiliko la mazingira ya ndani au ya nje. Na ukwambia internal environment ni surrounding of the cell. Cell inazungukwa na nini? That is the internal environment and most of time internal environment huwa ni uh, tunaita ni intracellular fluid lakini like external environment ni surrounding of the organism organism kiumbe mwenye anazungukwa na nini kwa stimulus inaweza kawa ni change ya internal au external environment which can be detected uh, by the nerve cell or by the neuron that is what you call stimulus our stimulus is the detectable change in the physical or chemical structure of an organisms internal or external environment So hiyo ni detectable change. Hii change lazima iwe na ukoe na uwezo kuwa detected. Ndio tunaita nini? Stimulus. Sasa irritability au sensitivity ni uwezo organism kwanza ku respond to the stimulus. Ku respond maana yake imepokea stimulus au imegundua change. Ile change iliyogundulika ndio inaitwa stimulus. Ime detect the change then after detecting the change it may become able to make appropriate response change ile kwa detected labda ni kumuona simba appropriate response ni muscles kukimbia change ile kwa detected labda ni kidole kuungua appropriate response ni kurimove the hand so the ability of an organism uh, to respond to external stimulus is called sensitivity external stimulus is called sensitivity or uh, even the internal stimulus that is the change in the surrounding of the cell uh, the ability also can respond to it and is 
called the same as sensitivity. When a stimulus is applied to a sensory receptor, when a stimulus is applied to a sensory receptor, it normally elicts or influences a reflex via stimulus transduction. Why your sensory receptor or sensory cells, receptor or cell, and by the sensory cell, you le pale ukimu apply stimulus, anatengeneza nini, anatengeneza electrical impulse. Kwa kutoka kwenye stimulus, kwenda kwenye electrical impulse, ni receptor ndo zinafanya yu kazi. Iyo kazi inaitua aji, inaitua transduction. Inaitua transduction. So, conversion katia kutoka kwenye stimulus, kwenda kwenye impulse, inaitua stimulus transduction. Stimulus transduction. So, these sensor receptor can receive information from outside of the body as in touch receptor found in the skin or light receptor in the eye as well as from the inside of the body as in the chemoreceptors and the mechanoreceptors. Kwa hiyo, easy sensory receptors in our ways receive information either toka nji ya mwiri au toka ndani ya mwiri. So, an internal stimulus is often the first component of homeostatic control system. The stimulus is received by a receptor it is, it is transmitted by means of nerve cell or hormones and the effect brings about a response. Kwa hiyo, uh, internal stimulus huwa mara nyingi na kuwaga ndiyo chanzo cha homeostatic control system. Asa kama ujaelewa hiyo homeostatic control system uh, kuwa tu pamoja nami kwenye homeostatic tutaisoma hiyo homeostatic control system vizuri sana. Kwa hiyo, stimulus inakuwa, inakuwa received by receptor, inakuwa transmitted by means of nerve cell au kwa minsi ya hormone na pia effect and wanai bring about response effect ni kama muscles pamoja na glands kwa hiyo tunajua kusema ni kwamba animals unlike plants they have two different but related systems of coordination the nervous and the endocrine system the two systems have developed in parallel in animals a good case study about the difference between the nervous and hormonal control is the control of digestive secretion in the gut about to misoma kwenye topic ya nutrition to yetu kumaliza siomdo. Now, plants also has a system, has a system, plants also has a chemical coordination system equivalent to hormones. So the extra possession of nervous system in animals is probably related to their need to seek food. This requires sense organs and locomotion, which is controlled by nervous system. Kwa hiyo, wanyama wanasadikia kuwa na nervous system kwa sababu gani wanaitaji chakula. Unapo itaji chakula wanatakia ufanyeje, uh, unatakia uu unatembea kuenda kukitafuta icho chakula. I, I, unatakia uu unatembea, na pia unatakia uu unasense kwa mba apando wapana chakula. So, sense yuka ni pamoja ya locomotion is nafanyika na nini? Na nervous system. Kwa hiyo ndo sababu pekea inasabisha animals yuwa na nervous system. Kwa hiyo hapo kuna difference kati ya nervous na hormonal control. Lakini hizi difference tutaenda kuzisoma tu. Eh tutaenda kuzisoma tutakapokuwa nasoma endocrinology yani uko mbele tutakapokuwa tunaenda kusoma kuhusu endocrine organs au tutakapokuwa kusoma kuhusu endocrine glands. Kwa hapa atuzi kuzisoma hizi kwa sababu pia sio kila kitu tukasoma. Tutasoma tu uko mbele sababu ni topic hii amna shida yote. Kwa hiyo naomba kwa video hii niishie kwanza hapo, niishie hapo kwenye introduction. Shie tu hapo na video inayofuata sana nitaanza kuelezea kuhusu nervous system. Nervous system. Nervous coordination in animals and nitaanza kuelezea kuhusu nervous system. Nervous system, nerve cells between. Subscribe channel, share video kwa marafiki zako. Usisahau kujoin hiyo Telegram group. Na pia kama unahitaji hizi notes uh, ini hadi copy zina uzo of 10 lakini kama uko uko mkoani naweza nikaangalia namna nyingine ya kuweza kukuzia hizi notes. Uh, ni kwamba unaweza kuona kama na, na uzo cost for sana lakini uh, it is very cost for to prepare these notes wana type 1 page by F1. Kwa kwa mfano hicho kipande nicho fundisha page 3 ni F3 ku type. Na notes unakuta ni page nyingi labda page 50 stini ko sema ni chukue ni type kwa 60 afu ni kupe bule aki ukweli yo bado sijaweza kusaidia kwa style yo so thank you everybody let I wish you nice studies
Asante kwa kuongelea tena na Dr. Mlelo. Ninaamini umeelewa kipindi na kama ujaelewa chochote waweza kucomment hapo chini. Click link ya kwenye description kujoin Telegram group kwa ajili ya discussion. Usisahau kusubscribe, kushare video kwa marafiki pamoja na kulike video.